Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Jairo Diaz here with PMX Motorsport. Today we're going to be working on a Dodge Promaster CD that has an issue with the, the cooling fan on the radiator. So this is uh, this is art from a very good friend of mine. He called me uh, like two days ago, three days ago, and he told me, uh, all right, here's the deal. So uh, I had a friend of mine that had replaced a fan on the car because it wasn't working. He installed a brand new fan and now the car is overheating. Every time we drive around the block with the car, so the gauge goes all the way up, and we have coolant coming out of the uh, the reservoir, and it's obviously overheating. So uh, he noticed that when he turned the car, he doesn't feel like the fan is kicking, like the fan is working. So he believes something wrong with the car. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, check all the fuses on all the relays uh, involved with the cooling system, and we're gonna try to identify any issues. I drove it already and I don't see and I didn't hear the fan working at any point. So let's check all the fuses and all the relay for more. <clears throat> all right, we're gonna start checking all the fuses and the relay. So we got a fuse box, box in here. Uh, let's take the cover off. Let's see what we get in there. I also wanna check all the connections since, uh, since somebody else was uh, working on this before. Uh, they might have a loose connection, so who knows. We will find the problem, but first I want to open the, the fuse cover and just inspect the fuses and see if I see any blown fuse in there. They use uh, bolts for the, the fuse cover in this specific uh, vehicle. So, Okay, here we got the, the fuse box in this car. So we have a 50 amp fuse in here that that's the one for the, for the module for the cooling fan. So that's what the manual is saying. So it's a relay, um, it's one of these two here. So I, I'm, I, I believe it's the one on the right. That's the one controlling the cooling fan. So um, let's measure that uh, fuse really quick and see if it's open or anything like that. The fuse is good. So that tells me that there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right, let's uh let's take a look at the the connections down there. And to see how everything looks. So, something I noticed, I don't know if you guys can tell, like this thing keeps coming out. Apparently it's missing uh the the resistor for the fan. It keeps coming out. So, I don't know if you guys can see it in there. So it's supposed to be in there and it keeps coming out of the, the, the socket where it's supposed to be. And also what I, I noticed a lot of pressure coming off this wire in here, like it's actually pulling it out. And then this blue wire down there is, uh, it's too long. I mean, I'm wondering if they switched the wires. So if he used uh, the one that's supposed to go to the resistor, he crossed them, you know, he, he, he swapped the wires by mistake. That's what I think it happened because there's no way this one it can go this hole down here. So I don't know. Let, let's check that for a second. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, like this connection is the one actually going to the fan, and the other one, <clears throat> and this one I think is the one that's supposed to go to. Uh, this resistor. So let's swap that out real quick. And let's see. Just put this back where you're supposed to go. You gotta find like a bolt or something, the bolts in there, because uh this one is definitely no bolting in there. So let me see if we find a bolt around the shop somewhere. Alright, so I find a bolt, so we're gonna tie the the resistor fan in there, make sure it's in place. All right, that's good. All right, now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna start the car, everything's uh, like who's supposed to be. So I swapped the connection, so um, I moved the one that was to the resistor directly to the fan, and the one that was connected directly to the fan, I plugged that one to uh, the resistor, so. If everything is good, so we're gonna start the car. So uh, we're gonna wait a few minutes until the, it reaches some temperature, 
and then we're gonna see how the fan is gonna react. All right, let's find the key and let's start the car. Actually, I think the key's in my pocket, yeah. Let's go, let's start it. All right, AC's running, which is good. All right, let's keep an eye on the fan. Bring the light over here. All right. Let's keep an eye on the fan. Usually takes a few minutes to kick in, so there we go. Working. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, nice. Wow. Yep. Yeah, they definitely swapped out the wires by mistake, the connection, so good. All right. All right, we're gonna shut it off. We're gonna go for the test drive and see what's gonna happen. All right, guys, so um, as you all can see, the issue was the connector. So uh, surprisingly to me, it is the same connector for the fan and for the, the, the resistor fan. So which is, that's why maybe the person, whoever who installed this, it got confused. So if you have a lot of experience dealing with cars, so uh, you're gonna assume that it doesn't matter which connector you plug on, on which one. So, but uh, it, it matters. So as you all can see, that was a problem over here. So you had the power directly going to the fan instead of going to the resistor. That's why it's so important every time you're taking something apart, if you know how you're gonna put it back in there, at least mark the connection. So one and one, two and two, or you can use letters, or you can use uh, um, you can come up with any kind of ideas, but the, the main goal is that you have to put everything back the same way that you took everything apart. So uh, luckily not, nothing else happened here, so I'm surprised that even the fuse got blown by, uh, by crossing so, those connections, but so uh, it's what it is. It's all good now, so the car's running, so we took the test road already for like 10-15 minutes, no overheating issues at all. All good, the fan is uh, working as it's supposed to be, and he's ready to go. So um, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to get notifications every time we send more content like this. So uh, thank you for watching, and see you all next time.